What's up, folks? It's Big Boy with Bare Knuckle News, and we're here in South Carolina at BKFC 42, and I'm here with our winner tonight, John Bernard. John, you made your debut in Bare Knuckle with impressive style. You had beautiful counters, and you're coming from that island of Hawaii. You're showing that toughness, man. Tell us, what was your initial impression of Bare Knuckle? Um, I think it was exactly what I expected. You know, I grew up fighting, doing this type of stuff, but a little bit more technical, as you guys are seeing. That's literally how every street fight is. You know, you're not throwing haymakers and all that kind of stuff. And I was, I was glad that I was able to showcase the true um, warrior spirit in Hawaii. You know, it's very technical. We think about our shots. We're not just wildly throwing. So I, I, it was great. You know, the lights and all that kind of stuff kind of shocked me a little bit. But, you know, nonetheless, it was awesome. No, you looked really great in there. You had great counters. Um, you know, in, in that first round, you kind of weathered the storm, but you got a nice knockdown. Did you smell blood in that first round? And is that what pushed you to come in to get the finish? Yeah, De definitely, definitely. I had to get my feet under myself. You know, this is my first fight after 10 years. And so I didn't want to rush it into something and I wasn't ready for it. So I, w I had to fill them out, see if I can take some shots as well. And then I was like, okay, now that I'm, I got my feet under me, you know, I could move, I uh, adjusted a little bit, I adjusted pretty quickly and then I was able to capitalize and do exactly what I was saying. You know, I was thinking of the Javante Davis fight where he slipped and he did that uppercut and knocked yeah, that out. Sorry. So I was trying to find that, you know, and I was trying to, trying to um, start the night off right and leave a, a, an impression that made it hard for everyone else that's fighting tonight to beat, you know, so hopefully I was able to do that. It was great. I had a great camp. Um, definitely not as, as as good as I wanted it because, again, I'm fighting at 155. I should be fighting at 125, 135. I'm here. Hopefully, I'm here to stay. Um, Dave, holla at your boy. <laughs> so, with that being said, we'll, we're going to see you drop down into a lower weight class. So, is that the call out for the 25ers and 35ers? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. You know, that that, that the, the lower weight class looked really fun, you know. Um, I'll be able to move more. You'll be able to see much more crisper technique, you know. I, to, I didn't know where I was at. It's my first time in 10 years. I didn't. I wasn't able to uh, show you guys what I really got. That's just the tip of the iceberg for me. So once I get to that 35, you guys will see it much cleaner, more technical. It's it, 10 times better. Super excited to see that. Listen, John, is there any friends, sponsors, family, or anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, so first off, I'd like to thank Jesus Christ. Um, New, New Level, my brother, he owns his own uh, New Level Concepts. Um, uh, Top Tiger Team Boxing, we got oh, man, uh, Precision Construction, oh man, I got a list. Go to untamable.net and you guys can find all of my sponsors. We got Bare Knuckle, I appreciate you guys for all the work. Uh, uh, misguided Individuals, we got, oh man, I, I can go on for days. Thank you all, check out my website, give my sponsors some love so that they can continue to sponsor me, guys, you know, and that's, that's what this whole thing is about, Sp support the fighters so that we can continue to grow in this sport, you know, so hopefully we inspired some, some locals in Hawaii. Guys, it's possible. Let's make the noise. Let's make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from our man tonight. He came out with his debut. Loved Bare Knuckle. He's coming back for more. John Bernard with Big Boy. This is Bare Knuckle News. No one beats us to the punch.